So my boyfriend and I have been looking at apartments for quite some time now, and we finally signed the lease on one we really love. For the next month or so, we'll be planning, shopping, getting ready, and eventually moving into our own place. Here is the journey of our first apartment together. Hey y'all, what is up? It is Marissa Nicole and welcome back to my channel and happy Tuesday, August 11th. Today's video is really exciting because we are finally starting to decorate the apartment. We're not getting too in-depth today. We're doing some like DIY artwork and stuff because I feel like the walls are too blank like we need something up there so I just want to start with this I've been searching all over Pinterest to figure out like what I wanted to do on the walls and I really wanted to try like the drip or like the pour paint kind of stuff with the canvases if you guys have seen that before I've seen a couple of videos on it I feel like it's all over TikTok. I know that I'm like kind of late to the game on it but we're gonna try it because I really want to do like three canvases above my desk in the bedroom that are all like the drip art and it kind of like goes together but it doesn't go together you know there's definitely gonna be other videos of like actually decorating or like putting up pictures or doing other DIY projects that I have in mind for the apartment so those will come so if you're new to my channel definitely subscribe down below and follow me on Instagram so you don't miss all of those like future videos that are gonna come with this apartment and if you missed any of like the move-in vlogs packing vlogs whatever about this new apartment I will link all of those down below because you missed out on a lot but I'm really excited about today's video because we're finally going to start decorating but I'm also really excited about today's video because I partnered with Arteza which is like a huge art supplies company brand and they sent me over the supplies that we're gonna need to do all of the artwork that we're gonna do today they sent over 32 pouring acrylic colors and there's like so many options I'm so excited to dive into this and figure out like what we want it to look like and then of course they sent us the canvases to go with it they sent over six and at least today I want to do four of them but we might get to all six so thank you so much to Arteza for sending those over and helping us decorate our place I'm really excited to start getting things on the wall I will link Arteza's website down below if you guys are looking to do some arts and crafts or just like any painting of your own with everything that they sent to me today as well as a link to get you guys a 10% off coupon if you do shop their website first things first we need to prep. Stop! <laughs> Griffin had the good idea of doing the painting like outside on our porch. So we need to like prep the area. We did buy a tarp so that way we don't get paint everywhere or anywhere because I feel like this is gonna get messy. Oh, drip painting? <laughs> messy? What? Well, that's why I wore my art shirt, which is kind of overexposed and you can't see. But I have stain all over it. We're wearing art clothes, okay? Let me show you the area that we're gonna be working with today. Ignore our unmade bed and my box <laughs> laptop stand. I basically want like three canvases above the desk area in our room's color scheme which is like yellow black white gray all of this kind of stuff but like here can you grab like two canvases at least so we can see what that's gonna look like or how much space we have because maybe we can only do two I don't know there's one two hoo -hoo. Oh, there's room for three okay perfect and then we also want to do one in our spare bathroom which like the color scheme is pink which I think Griffin you said you want on this one I think that'd be cute that's the plan for right now at least those four. First step tarp Next up, art supplies. From the videos that I've watched, we'll need some cups to like actually pour them and we honestly forgot to get cups. So I got caramel frappes today. We're gonna wash out these cups so we can use that to pour. So I feel like we should do, if we're doing the bathroom, obviously we do some pinks. I think a little bit of green would look good too because we have a plant in there. So we're just gonna kind of wing it and that's why hopefully this will work out for us because it doesn't have to be perfect. <laughs> it's the art of winging it. Literally. Basically, I have to bloop this over as quickly as possible so that way it doesn't like kind of go everywhere and then we're gonna lift it and see what happens. But you wanna take a look at what it looks like on the inside because I think it looks really cool. I'm kind of scared. Just do it. Or what, yep. <laughs> Tell me. 
finished product. I'm obsessed. That looks literally so good. I don't know which ways we're gonna put like the top versus the bottom, but this is adorable and I cannot wait to put this in the bathroom. We're gonna start the three now, the one that's gonna go above my desk, which is gonna be an interesting little color scheme of like yellows, whites, golds, black. I don't know what else. We might throw a little pink in there. I don't know, but purple, I think Griffin said, but hopefully these ones turn out just as good. <laughs> we have pastel yellow and Ooh. silver gray. We're adding a little bit of purple to the bedroom one. Got some black in there. This one for the bathroom is literally perfection. I think that was just like beginner's luck because I'm not a huge fan of the color, the way that this turned out for the bedroom. It's like too dark. I wanted it more light. And this one just came out to be like very chaotic. <laughs> like I liked the simple like wave kind of method. So we're gonna try a different method for this one. Anybody on the, in the comments want that? Griffin thinks that I should do a giveaway with this canvas. So if anybody really wants it, I will send it to you. <laughs> but we're gonna try a new method with this one and just do like pouring lines and then like tap it to try to go down so it kind of ends up like this one because I genuinely think we just got lucky with this one. We're gonna try this one to go into the living room. We're gonna do like browns, greens, and blues, mints or whatever because that's obvious you guys have seen the living room. That's what the living room looks like. So we're gonna see how that one turns out. What I'm thinking is starting with like lighter colors into a darker color so it kind of like melts like this one but from like a light blues to like greens to browns and it like uses all of the colors that are in our living room but like an ingredient that melts. Tough times, they tend to make you lose your mind signs and some like can be hard to find but we'll fight this off until it's out of sight This one turned out good. You can't really see it because we're getting like golden hour right now, but we have like white into yellow, mint, blue, dark greens, and browns in there. And that's like all the colors of our living room. And I think it looks really nice. Good job, babe. <laughs> These are gonna sit outside because the back of the box says four hours to touch dry, but like 24 hours to be like dry dry. So since that has to sit for 24 hours, I will see you guys in 24 hours. And we will check on it, get them all hung up, figure out where they're all gonna go and make sure everything still looks good. We like weighed down the corners of the tarp out there so that way like the wind didn't like blow it on top of the paintings or anything. So I'm hoping they last through the night and they look good in the morning. But I will see you guys tomorrow. Get out of my laboratory. Oh, oh my battery's already f Hello, hello. It is not 24 hours later, but like a week later. And I'm sorry. I am back to show you, of course, the finished products. You guys already saw them. They didn't change. I was kind of nervous that like something would happen in the middle of the night or like it would rain or tarp would go over. I don't know. But essentially everything turned out okay. <laughs> we just need to finish hanging them up. And I think for today's video, at least, we're only gonna hang up one, which is the spare bathroom one because that one's like done. We already know where it's gonna go. However, with the living room one, we know we want it in the living room, but we also need to hang up a bunch of other stuff in the living room that I want to make sure it like matches and goes with. So we'll save that one to be hung up another time. But we can at least get the bathroom one hung up, which I'm excited about. The bathroom one turned out like so freaking cute. But the pink matches like so perfectly with this. And I think it's like enough green to like bring in another color. So I'm happy about this. I think we wanted it on this wall. I don't know, I kind of like it if it goes up here. I don't know, I'll have to ask Griffin. But he's getting the hammer and nail, so that way we can hang that one up. We're saving this one, which will go into the living room because it matches all of our living room colors. We just want to figure out where it's gonna go if it's gonna go above the trash can over there or on this wall Or we were maybe thinking right here by the TV or like we don't know So we don't want to hang this one up just yet, but this one ended up matching our colors Beautifully and then these are the other two that we ended up making and I mentioned this at the end of like the last time I Recorded, but I'm so serious if you guys want either of these DM me on Instagram because like I'm so serious I will like send this to one of you guys. Are you ready? Let's do this. Did you get the nails? Yes. Do we want it above the toilet or do you still like this wall? Okay, that's your job. I will not be you hanging. You are useless. You can quote me on that. <laughs> yeah, and we make sure it's straight. Get his damn light on his wrist. Voila! Wow. There you go. Woo! Oh my gosh. <laughs>
Look, now it'll be like in the pictures. Look at how cute that is. Guys, I love it. That is so cute. And it matches our pink, brings some more color into the place. I think that's a good first thing on the wall. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, that is it for today's video. I'm really, really, really happy with how that bathroom one turned out and then our living room one turned out. I'm excited that we finally have like the first thing on the wall, even though it's in like the spare bathroom, so it doesn't look like we have really anything on the walls yet, but we're gonna get there. <laughs> Thanks again to Arteza for sending over all of the goodies for us and helping us get our place a little bit more decorated. They did send over some more stuff that'll be shown in like a different video when we're actually like decorating, hanging more stuff on the walls, so be on the lookout for that. Again, I will link their website down below as well as a link to get you guys a 10% off code if you do shop on their website. If you guys wanted any kind of like inspiration or DIY ideas and stuff like that, go ahead and check out their YouTube channel because they do have their own channel, which I will also link down below because they have tons of cool videos that give you guys ideas of things that you can do while you guys are at home. If you're wanting to do some arts and crafts or if you're looking to get something on their website, they also have some videos with obviously their products and how to use them. But, but, but before we close today's vlog, we have to read today's notable quotable. Today's notable quotable goes to Tayuna DeLeo, if I pronounced that right. Their notable quotable reads, you can't control the wind but you can adjust the sails. Griffin is already starting on the next thing. <laughs> Which I think that's an important perspective or like way to look at things is of course you cannot control what happens in the world but you can control how you're going to react to it and what you're gonna do with that. Because I know myself I get wrapped up in a lot of the things that I cannot control and I kind of forget about the things that I can control and focusing my attention on those things to hopefully like better the situation that I'm in, better my mental health, like better my thought process or whatever I'm going through or that's happening. I tend to just like focus on the bad thing that's happening instead of like how I could potentially make it better. So I need to get better at that. If you want to be the next notable quotable shout out, all you have to do is leave me a comment down below of your favorite quote, song, lyric, whatever motivates you, inspires you, keeps you going with a hashtag and notable quotable and I can feature you in my next video. I love you guys so much more than you'll ever know and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Feel it in the space between. You gotta give yourself a moment. Let your body be.